Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the Dropbox. The Dropbox is your virtual file storage location. Pretend that it's a, a filing cabinet that's in the cloud that you can access all of the folders and files that are necessary for becoming an aspiring trainer and or if you're an existing boss trainer with a permit or certification, all of your files and folders needed for those roles are in the Dropbox as well. So I'm going to log in using my username and password. You will be assigned a username and password as well. And once you have that, it may prompt you to see if you would like to save the password or not. You can either say never for this site, not now, or yes. I'm going to go ahead and say not now. I'm going to click on the button, not now. So if you've been invited to the f um, folders, <coughs> either for boss classes trainers permit, boss classes aspiring trainers, or certified trainers, you will click on the appropriate folder. So let's assume you were invited to the aspiring trainers. All aspiring trainers would access any of the folders that are applicable to your needs at that time. Let's say you're just starting out, then it's best to just go in order, starting with the very first folder, number 00.checklist to getting started. In that folder, you will see checklist for starting a boss class. Click on it and you will have a one-page document that guides you through all of the processes of getting started with teaching your boss class. We've made it very simple in a one-page document for you that um, all the systems are in place. If I click on my back button to go back to the remaining folders, just going to give you a sneak preview of each of the folders. This is the Boss Trainer CD Tracks. Inside this folder, you have access to all of the Trainer CD audio files. In other words, all the test questions with the answers. That's right, the test questions with the answers. You have it in linear, meaning in order, as well as gestalt, meaning out of order. You have your class song which is the theme song by Mrs. Hattie Hollingsworth entitled Whatsoever Things Are True. You also have the countdown and all of these audio files are downloadable. All you have to do is click on them and you will have access to them. You also have the test questions and answers in again the MP3 format that you can download to your iPod or computer. Going to go to the next folder here. All of the trainer videos that are needed to pass your exam are in this folder entitled Trainers Video Clip Diagrams. So this is all of the actual files that are needed for passing your exam. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that these are visible. Five senses versus God's word. You have the brain part one and the brain part two. All of the files, presuppositions, they are all in this folder. Okay, I'm going to go back for a moment so that we can go on to the next folder entitled number two. That is the pledges. Inside that pledge folder, you have your boss pledges in PDF format, which is a one page. If you want to post it to your refrigerator, this is the one page and the referring scriptures on one page document and or you have the PowerPoint file. All of the pledges, if you're a visual type person, we have the PowerPoint files available for you in a visual format with pictures so that it can be easy for you to <coughs> remember uh, the pledges and to get them in your spirit with the related perception or picture images. And we have picture images in the PowerPoint for all 10 of the pledges. Going to close out of this folder. Going back to the next folder, we have our Entrepreneur's Credo. Although this is not a requirement for the certification process, we do want our trainers to learn the Entrepreneur Credo for the simple fact we ask the students to learn it. That way we're not asking them something to learn that we're not willing to learn. But again, it's not required for your certification uh, in the process. The next folder is the Global Alliance Form. 
If you have not already submitted a Global Alliance form, you may click on this folder, open up the file, complete the information, and email it back to admin support at bossthemovement.com. That's admin support at bossthemovement.com. Moving right along to the next folder, we have legal brand use terms, which is a Word document that simply spells out all of the authorized use in terms of our logo for Boss the Movement and or Vertical Lead, and the brand use of any of our um, materials or any of the information that relates to Boss the Movement or Vertical Lead. These are our legal terms and operating procedures. I'm going to close out of that. Moving right along to the next folder, we have our milestone folder. This simply is if you have taken a vertical leap, all you have to do is click on the date that you took in the vertical leap, and this is just a timeline of where you should be in order to start your class within 60 days of completing a vertical leap. So every month we create a milestone file and this is for the local and or national or global vertical leap schedule and depending on when you have taken a vertical leap you can follow along on the timeline in staying within starting a class within 60 days of completing vertical leap. Alrighty, so we've already spoken about starting a boss class. Again, that one page checklist that is accessible for you. And uh, basically, this starting a boss class gives you the step by step instructions on what you need to do for, again, starting that class within 60 days of completing a vertical leap. Most commonly played songs, we just put this PDF file here so that any of the actual um, <coughs> songs that you hear during worship, if you want to know who the artist is, we put this during one of our Vertical Leap sessions in Australia, so we just left it in the Dropbox for anyone that would like to look up some of the artists of the most commonly played songs. It's not all of our songs, but just some of the most commonly played songs. Once you're done with the Dropbox, all you have to do is go to the top right-hand corner, click Sign Out, and that will complete your session for access to the Dropbox.